Hey, you are fanatics. Welcome back to Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. Guys, if you don't know who I am, my name is Michael Bowman, and I have a YouTube channel called Bermuda Grass Central. Guys, on this channel, we talk about a lot of things, mostly Bermuda grass. But in the meanwhile, there are other things I talk about, like how to kill weeds, how to fertilize, how to cut your lawn, this and that. But today, we're going to talk about how to make an all-natural weed and grass killer for your lawn. So guys, all right. to get the best out of this channel, make sure you hit that subscription button, ding that notification bell. Every time BYD uploads a video, you will be notified by YouTube. question all the time guys BYD is that all you put down on your um, Bermuda grass is those toxic herbicides no guys there are natural ways to go about doing this one reason I don't do it because the natural this doesn't last this long but the natural is probably the better way to go if you're conscientious about planet earth so in this video guys I'm gonna show you how to make an all natural weed and kill for your lawn and for your flower beds, curb cracks, all that good stuff. I'm gonna tell you the pros and I'm also gonna tell you the cons. Guys, while I'm making my way over to this table, I need for those of you who've made your own natural weed kill to go ahead, comment below. Let everybody know what you use, the process, um, how much you had to measure it, all that good stuff, guys, because this channel is built on good information and I want you to be a part of so comment below guys tell me exactly what you use how long did it take for it to die all that good stuff so let me go ahead and get right to the mix hey you are fanatics look I'm just going to get straight to this these are the ingredients that you're going to need and you see right there we got the regular table salt salt now by the way none of this is sponsored these are just products laying around the house guys and you saw when I went into my cabinet I bet literally got this stuff from uh, don't be looking in my <laughs> pantry but yeah these are stuff that you should have at home all right that's not gonna be enough I got another bottle right there if you can see that hopefully the light so I use salt. that regular table salt we'll use that in my uh, fact. now somebody said something about using that but that's what we're gonna use and instead of getting one of those gallon sprayers, just use a little. And I will suggest get the uh, industrial bottle. You can get them for like three or four dollars at Home Depot. Didn't have to go to the store. The majority of you guys will have these things at your home. Maybe not that spray bottle. Now I will suggest that you get an industrial spray bottle. And if you're gonna use this specifically for natural weed killer, take a sharpie, write it across the top. So you know exactly what it is but these items guys were just picked up in the home i didn't have to go to the store but the cost of this is neo guys it's very neo all right guys let's go from this way to this way we got table salt we got some uh dish detergent that's going to act as our surfactant you can use any one guys i don't care antibacterial or regular um you can use i got the zelp professional sprayer we got the glass measuring cup and I told you once before I bought buy glass because it doesn't stain. That is for lawn care, guys. I don't use it to cook with. So understand that even though all this stuff is natural, you'll see this glass in some other videos. And I don't want you saying, DYD using mama glass and they're gonna he gonna kill everybody. No, I'm not gonna kill everybody. That one is specifically for this. Guys, I got this funnel back here. It's a good thing to have right there. We got the all-natural vinegar. Now this one is a optional that's apple cider vinegar guys if you got it use it if you don't then use the other one. all right i'm going with the this one right here because it's cheaper i don't want to you know use up the one that costs the most but all of both of them do the same thing guys what we're going to do i'm going to show you how to mix this stuff and how to spray your weeds guys before i start this mix there are a couple of things that you may need to know now using a natural weed killer like vinegar this stuff is not systemic. What I mean by that is when I spray this on the weed, it's literally going to kill the leaves. Now, this would be the formula without the salt. When I add that salt, it becomes a grass and weed killer. 
All right, so you need to know that, and I'll, I'll tell you why in just a second. The vinegar, once sprayed on that, it's going to kill the leaves. Even if you're spraying it on your regular grass, you need to be careful, guys, because you can burn the grass also. Now, the good thing about it being natural is the grass will bounce back. But so will the weeds, because technically you hadn't went down into the root to kill that. When you add that salt, and then you, if you look up some of that herbicide that you're spraying on your weeds, those fancy names is another word for salt. Now, the content is so high in them that, yeah, it becomes systemic. It goes down in the plant, kills it from the top all the way down to the root. When you spray this vinegar by itself, it's just going to kill the plant. When you spray the vinegar and the salt, it's going to kill the plant and some of the root. And more than likely, if you put too much down, it's almost like a pre-emergent. Ain't nothing growing back in that spot for a while. So you got to be careful when you do this process. So, okay, you are fanatics. Look, this is not hard. Guys, if you look at this, this sprayer right here, there are some numbers on the side, and it has the measurements on the side so you can actually see um, the amount of ounces that you're putting into it. Now, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and take this off. And, guys, this first formula... It's going to be just the vinegar with the surfactant. What we need to do is add 15 ounces or 16 ounces of vinegar to this. Now, you can fill it all the way up, but uh, guys, um, we're going to use some of this later on, so I'm not going to use the whole bottle for that. But simply just add your little 15 ounces to it. Or 16. All right, got that done. Make sure you put the top back on these things as soon as you do it. Remove the funnel. Now, as far as the surfactant, guys, I don't suggest that you put it in here because you're going to have some residue of your surfactant in there. Just go ahead and take it straight from the bottle. Try to eyeball it to put maybe an ounce in there. So we got an ounce of surfactant in there. Close that back up. And we'll put this on here. And that's it. Shake it up a little bit. Don't shake it up till it's foam all up, but shake it up just a little bit to mix it up. And that's your regular mix. That right there is going to kill weeds um, without so much damaging the grass by adding this salt. But when you spray this, whatever it hits is going to kill the leaf surface. All right. So let's go ahead and find a few things we want to spray. Okay, guys, here's a weed grass that I don't want in my lawn all right now I have the spray bottle and hopefully you can see that all right now before you spray this make sure you have the nozzle tip set where you want it to be so it won't come out in the stream you want it to come out in the mist form so hopefully you can see this okay okay you are for next I'm gonna spray it and remember you don't have to put a lot on now you got some surfactant on there there are is a strong possibility it's going to kill that grass that got hit also. Now, that's one of the reasons why I took that toothbrush and was painting that stuff on there, so I could specifically target the weed and not everything around it. But this is an all-natural way of doing it. Probably not going to happen overnight. We're going to have to check back in a couple of days to see what happened. Okay, y'all, for next look, what we have here, some more pour that came up. I'm going to go ahead and hit that also got it kind of wet there and uh we'll check back with that to see how that turns out like i said guys this process does not happen overnight it may take two or three days so you actually start seeing yellowing and burning the leaves remember this is not systemic it's not going to get down into the plant and kill the root off with this basic concentration now yard fanatics if you have an area in your yard that you want to try the salt vinegar air mix, then go ahead. I'm going to try it on that little area right there. This is an area that I know nobody's going to be around, guys. So I'm going to just drench it. I'm not so much concerned about that because this whole particular area, I got a lawn project coming up where I'm going to put some bushes and shrubs on down this wall. But, yeah, small area like that, go ahead and, and test. Don't do your whole freaking yard with the salt and vinegar test it in an inconspicuous area 
if it works out for you, then you can use it. But by adding that salt, guys, now this has turned literally into a grass and weed killer. It's going to kill everything that it landed on. And hopefully, it'll get down into the soil systemically wise and kill it down to the root. Okay, guys, we got an area in the pine straw bed. I'm going to go ahead and treat these. Now, what's awesome, I'm going to go ahead and change the spray tip so I can get a direct stream light spray going straight to the gut. I'm aiming at the bottom of it so it'll help get down in there. And yes, I do smell vinegar. Okay, y'all fanatics, and look, we have a, uh, this area is right here on the border of the uh, pine straw bed, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray all of this. We'll see how this, this works out. Okay. This is for the small landscaper right now. These are the curb cracks right here. The reason I'm showing you this, guys, because when you spray it with that glyphosate, that stuff will leak down to the drain. Now, I'll just be tell you the truth. 80% of your landscapers are spraying these. I don't give a what nobody says. That's what they do. They spray that herbicide on these curb cracks. And everybody does it. Homeowner does it. Is it supposed to be done? No. So here's your alternative. We're going to go ahead and use the all natural vinegar and salt mix. And guys, what you do, I'll get a little closer. So what you do is just spray, spray that curb crack real good. Get it nice and wet and just let it sit there. That's it. Okay, y'all for next. For the people who have it in a curb crack, see I got one right there. And that's poor right there. That's poor. We're gonna spray that and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it real wet. Now let me show you something else about this real quick. Okay, you are for next. Now when you're treating that curb crack and it's right there next to your grass, you wanna stay at least six to 12 inches away from that. Because what'll happen if you overload that crack and that fluid runs down the crack and go out into the grass, you're gonna have a burn spot right there. So never spray any herbicide or weed kill all the way to the end. You wanna stop, like I said, six, 12 inches away from it. That way you won't get that burn on the corner. Hey guys, and look, this is 24 hours later. You can see it's, it's dying off. I'll try to get as close as I can. The life is being drained out of it. All right, that's that's one of them. Let's go check out the other patch. Hey, you are fanatics, and like I said, we sprayed this one with the salt and the vinegar concoction. And this is 24 hours later. And yeah, it's, it's starting to wilt. Let's get a little closer. <clears throat> starting to wilt in that area right there and right there so so it is working it is working hey yard and and this is 24 hours of the curb crack and you can see you can see look at it and like I said this is the vinegar and salt solution right here I get a little closer so you can see it this is the drive for you driveway crack 24 hours later this is the vinegar and salt solution right here and it ate that thing up that was a poana poa growing out the con concrete on the driveway okay guys and 24 hours later you can see the damage that this is just vinegar and surfactant vinegar and um, dish soap I think it'll come off you can see what kind of Kind of kill the guy. Like I said, once again, what it does is burn the leaves, um, but it's not systemic, so it's not gonna go all the way down to kill the root all the way down, but it does kill the top growth. So, okay, you are fanatics, you may be asking a question well, BYD, how much money am I gonna have tied up in this? Listen, guys, that Zelp spray bottle, don't buy it on at um, Walmart. They don't sell it in the store, but they sell it online. Don't order it online go to Home Depot if you're going to get that specifically. And I'm only reason I'm saying it, guys, I do suggest an industrial strength bottle. They may sell them at Walmart. I'm not sure, but this is what I have for the video. Got it at Home Depot for $3.30. The dishwashing liquid, um, and that's a big bottle right there, guys. Only three bucks. 
the Heinz um, vinegar, and you don't have to get Heinz. You can get the cheapest one they have. And guys, though, that it's going to be 5% if you buy it in the store. That's the mix. 5%. The vinegar is going to be like 5% alcohol. They have 6 or 7%. Then they have horticultural vinegar. Um, don't buy that because it's just too strong for your grass. So stick with the one in the store. It's a little all natural. That's 5%. That's um, $2 a freaking bottle. And the salt was a dollar bottle. So r really, you only got 9 bucks and 30 cents tied up in this. That's not a bad, bad deal at all. So, okay, you are fanatics. Like I said, that was an all natural mix. Nothing hard about it. Nine bucks and tied up in it. It's not like a synthetic herbicide that's just gonna kill everything. Systemic, go all the way in, kill everything at the bottom. Um, but it's not toxic. Um, it's, it's stuff that you got around the house that you can use. And I'm pretty sure somebody will say, yeah, it's toxic, this and that. That may be fine. But this is the least amount of toxic toxicity that you can have if that's a word so guys hopefully this video helped you um if it did like i said make so sure hopefully this video has helped somebody make an all-natural weed kill and grass kill for their lawn um, guys if this video has been helpful help byd spread the words if you are a true ride or die yard fanatic what i need you to do right now is copy paste this link put it in your social media your twitter your facebook Spread the word, guys. Don't leave the page without copy-pasting and put it in your social media. Help BYD spread the word. So once again, Yard Fanatics, you're tuned into Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. This is Michael Bowman, and I'll talk to you soon.